when we get older, we become more rigid. Mm. I don't know if you uh, see that dynamic or not. I mean, young people, uh, uh, they are more flexible, but as they go older, they got experience, and those experience accumulate, they become rigid and rigid and rigid. Becomes, uh, you can teach an old, uh, old man a new trick, right? <laughs> that's, that's a common saying. Uh, so, like, do you have like a certain religion you consider yourself or like identify yourself with, or me? Yeah, I'm more or less like Confucius. I I have I believe there's a God, but my way of the God is not uh, is not active. It's not active seeing people helping you that kind of thing. It's just there's a there's a there's a supernatural out there, who who more manage the the the, the, the universe, but manage the universe in a way that. That because the God has constraint, the God to not help you because God like you, right? It, it, it should not be that way. So you have to, you have to carry things you should do. If you make a mistake, you should be penalized, right? So God do not have favor to any particular person, right? So you have to do the right thing for God to help you. God can just help you out, but cannot just unilaterally take you out from trouble. God will not do that because the vow, because it's not right, because it's not equal opportunity, right, <laughs> for other people. So, so my notion of God is really very similar to Confucius. It just, uh, it, it's the one who managed the order of the universe. But the things you do, you have to be responsible, right? Otherwise, no. All the, no. God will, dis will, 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 will alter the order of the universe, yeah. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, yeah. I mean, when we when we die, uh, our will our spirit di uh, disappear? The question is, will not? Why? Right? If not, there's, there's a ghost. There are different dimensions of human beings, right? We only at the four dimensions, but mathematically has proved that we have ten dimensions, right? Already exist within our physical universe. So there are other dimensions which we do not see, do not feel, and those maybe we paraphrase as God or spirits, right? Yeah. I think the way it should be, uh, certain principles are, pr the, let me rephrase, rephrase that, uh, that writing, uh, is certain principles are principles, but they're not perpetual principles. Certain concepts are concepts, but they're not perpetual concepts. Those are the more correct interpretation of the writing. Uh, what, what we see is, we see certain norms, and those are, are certain principles, those are true. That's all the truth at that point in time. But as times go by, those truths become no longer true, or not universal truth, because things change, right? Uh, and, and, and that's much more appropriate interpretation of the, of the world. Because what we observe today are principles, are not necessarily perpetual principles, right? When you talk about uh, uh, Newton's theory, Newton's theory only apply in the, in, the, in the physical world, right? When you talk about uh, nuclear physics, that Newton's theory does not work. You talk about relative, right? You, you, you talk about left relative theory. You talk about Einstein's theory, right? So certain theory are theory, are, are good theory, but at a point in time, certain point in time, certain co relative context. But in other contexts, it's not true. So I think I think that that principle is is a very important principle in the traditional Chinese philosophy. Am, am I am I confusing you? What other questions do you have? Yeah. So is, is there like any? Do you believe in any type of afterlife? Uh, in the like? I don't know. To be frank, I I really don't know. I wish there is, but I don't know. Uh, I uh, I follow the Chinese philosophy of. Uh, have you? Uh, I practice oracle. I don't know you. Oracle? Do you know oracle? 
that means uh, uh, that means you you ask the question to God, and then you play around with some uh, bamboo sticks, and then you get the answer. There's some mention of that in the uh, Hebrew scriptures. Yeah, yeah. In other culture, they have similar. Okay. But uh, in Chinese culture, we have. 5,000 years ago, we have that tradition. And then uh, I use that quite a lot. Uh, sometimes, sometimes I, when I publish an article, when I write an article, I ask God, okay, can I publish this article in a good journal? So I ask God for help. And uh, not for help, I say, will this article be published? So I, I pose that question, and then I get the answer. No, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so I thought, okay, well, the article cannot be published for that journal. Then, but should I stop submitting the article to that journal? No, I still continue to submit. But in the end, I get rejection. So I said, okay, well, well that's, that's, that already, it's already determined, so I, you know, I have to try harder. I have to try another, another journal or in, improve the paper to be appropriate for another journal. So I. I why I do that? Because I, I believe that uh, the outcome is already known. Okay, but uh, I have to change the outcome by doing different things. So what I try to do is uh, I try to get some lessons. I try to get some input from the outcome of the oracle, and then from from that I try to improve what I have been doing, and then move my uh, publication to a better journal. So have I answered your questions? Yeah. Unfortunately, rather. Thank you. Thank you.